Now to our weekly segment, TikTok, where we take a closer look at the story behind the sensation. Our next guest has made a name for himself by combining his passion for skin care with education. Dr. Manib Shah, also known as Derm Doctor, is one of the most followed dermatologists on TikTok, with more than 16 million followers and counting. When he's not reacting to viral skincare videos and trends, Dr. Shaw debunks myths and shares prevention and treatment tips with followers. Hi. My name is Dr. Shah and I specialize in dermatology. Many people don't have access to a dermatologist and I got on social media to share my knowledge with the world. We want to hear all about it. Dr. Shah, so good to have you with us tonight. You're, of course, known for sharing your story of skin cancer diagnosis at the age of 31 after excessively using tanning booths during your teen years. You found a way to use social media as a tool to educate people on sun protection and signs of skin cancer. Why did you turn to TikTok to, to share critical skin health messages? The truth is I'm a huge TikTok consumer myself. Okay. I find it to be the most fun platform to engage with. And so I just started creating content on the platform that I like the most. And the truth is if there's misinformation somewhere, the, the authority figures need to be on those platforms debunking the information. And we're of course in the midst of sunburn season. Uh, what types of sun protection do you recommend for kids and adults? What should we be looking for? The truth is, and this is what any dermatologist will tell you, is that the best sunscreen is the one that you're actually going to use, right? So if you're somebody who won't wear a zinc-based sunscreen because it leaves a white cast, then that's not going to be a great sunscreen for you. So I have no problem using the chemical filters. As the only one I tell people to avoid is oxybenzone. You want to look for SPF 30 or greater. You want it to say broad spectrum, which means it covers both UVA and UVB. And if you're out in the water, you want it to be water resistant up to 80 minutes. When it comes to skincare advice and information, a qualified medical professional is always your best bet. But these days, many people are turning to social media for help with everything from razor bumps to serums for hyperpigmentation. What skincare trends do you think that people should definitely ignore? I think most DIY skincare tips are going to be ones to avoid. So that's using like a lemon on your face uh, or a okay. lime on your face. Those are things I say to avoid using sodium bicarb or bicarb on your face. Not good. Um, baking soda, not good. Those are things I tell people not to use. Um, microneedling at home, any do it yourself thing <laughs> at home that should probably be done by a professional. So you also use your platform as an educational tool. Our team has created a skincare glossary of terms we'd like for you to break down along with explaining their benefits. Let's start with hyaluronic acid. So hyaluronic acid, very popular word, but basically it's just a moisturizer or humectant. It draws water into it and famously holds on to about a thousand times its weight in water. The benefit of that is that it can hydrate and plump the skin immediately. And it's one of the best ingredients at doing that. Retinol. Retinol is one of my favorite ingredients. It's one of the best studied ingredients in skincare for both anti-aging, acne, texture, hyperpigmentation. It's one of the ingredients that I, I almost want all of my patients on as long as they're not pregnant. Microdermabrasion. So microdermabrasion is a procedure that's done um, at an esthetician's office or a medi spa or dermatologist's office. And basically what they do is they fire these aluminum crystals at the skin, which helps to exfoliate and rejuvenate and retexture the skin. Again, that only removes that very top layer of the skin we call the stratum corium. So it doesn't have tremendous benefits on the deeper layers of the skin, but it's nice to just increase your glow and texture. Share with us, because you have just great skin. What's your holy grail? Five-step summer care routine for those on a budget. Ooh, okay, that's good. Um, so I would say that, you know, you really don't need to spend a lot of money on skincare. That was one of the reasons I started creating content in the first place was because I felt like there was this overwhelming uh, marketing campaigns that were telling you that you need to spend all this money and there was basically this barrier to entry but you can really get a great skincare routine for under fifty dollars so at night i say just cleanse your skin with any cleanser that does well with your skin follow with a retinol like i had mentioned and then just simply moisturize and in the morning especially when it's it's during the summer and you're getting a lot of sun exposure you want something that can fight the free radical damage so instead of using a retinol in that spot i would use a vitamin c in the morning and then use sunscreen. And I have a selfish personal question for you here. Ever since I was pregnant, I suffer from melasma. So summer is not my friend because anytime there's sun, I'm one that has the zinc and all of the sunblock. What, are, what do you recommend for people who suffer from the, that hyperpigmentation? 
That is, I'm so glad that you brought that up because one of the issues with hyperpigmentation is that we know that visible light plays a role. And so your traditional sunscreens, even your zinc oxide, titanium dioxide, do not block against that visible light spectrum. And so you also want to use a tinted sunscreen. All right, writing some notes down on that one. And many of your videos offer practical skincare tips. We've also asked our followers on ABC News Live Instagram to send in their burning questions. One of our followers wanted to know what are the best anti-aging products? Yeah, so going back to what I was saying, I mean, your retinol is really gonna do one of the best things for you, right? It helps to increase cell turnover, it builds collagen, um, it just has these long-term benefits that are beyond what you can see at the surface of the skin. And then the second ingredient I would say would probably be something like vitamin C or niacinamide to look for. Um, your sunscreen is gonna be, of course, doing most of the work for you. Dr. Shaw, so helpful. Thanks so much for joining our series this week. And you can learn more helpful skin and hair tips by watching his videos under the handle at Derm Doctor. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me on. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.